Hello, guten Tag, Swadika. Well, now I've been here in Thailand for just over a month. I've met heaps of people, I've gotten sick, I've worked to an inch of my life. Well, okay, not an inch, but pretty hard. And learnt many new things and had many different types of food. So, to start things off, I'm going to go over the goals which you uh, introduced last time. First goal. Learn the language of my field placement country. I haven't really learned any more Thai. I've been to about three different Thai churches where um, the service is just in Thai, but it hasn't really sparked my desire to learn any Thai. Um, if anything, I still want to learn German. It's good for my German, but I, I don't know any Thai, which is, you know, not the best if I'm in Thailand for a bit. Second one, make plenty of new friends. I'm currently doing a TESOL course, so teaching English to speakers of other languages. My class is about nine people and we're, we're all just great. We're like a little family, I'd say. Bound together by mutual tiredness, stress, and our love for one of our classmates, who's from Sweden, um, has very big emotional outbursts. Not, not like serious ones, but just, it's great, really funny. Number three, experience God in weird and wonderful ways. I'm slowly learning that to experience God in weird and wonderful ways, you have to put some effort into it, which sounds pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, you just, you think that's just going to happen by itself, but it's something you have to work towards. If you don't really want to make a change, then change isn't going to happen. Thailand. I have successfully gained the skill of navigating Chiang Mai, um, so, well, not all of it, but some central points like the Night Bazaar, um, airport plaza and our TESOL class which is near Chiang Mai Zoo. The other weekend Ali and I went to the cinema in airport plaza so um, we caught the song Tao into Chiang Mai and then another song Tao to the airport plaza. Um, apart from the song Tao driver thinking we meant the airport it was pretty good like we got there on time no hassles. As part of our TESOL course we're actually required um, to teach English to some Thai students. I'm currently halfway through the practicum, um, so I taught all last week. So it's only for an hour a day, but so much preparation, like just flip. It's like, it's a one hour lesson, but you spend five hours prepping for it. And I get up at 6 a.m. every morning to get to school, um, and we have class from eight till 12, and then we have the afternoon free to prep for the lesson and I generally don't even get to bed but well, we get home at like 8 39 and then I don't get to bed until 11 uh, 30 but despite all this it's really a rush to see your students engage in the oh, is this what English is like oh this is how I can use it and that's really good um, I really enjoy doing that as some of you saw our field placement for six months is South Korea if you've seen the video you saw it was quite a shock for both of us Mostly because it wasn't on the list. It's not a pioneering nation for YFC. Ali is big on Korea. She loves it and she's desperate to go there. And she didn't think she would go there as part of this trip. But we are, so she is over the moon. One of the things you didn't see after they stopped filming us finding out what it was, like literally just after, I suddenly look at Ali and I'm like, It's gonna be snowing! Yes! so excited I'm gonna go skiing and snowboarding and snowball fights and everyone's like calm down thank you for watching I'll see you um, next month